Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python and MySQL series. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to insert rows or basically data into our newly created table. We left off where we had created a student's table, all right? And there were two fields that we had created, one was for name and the other was for age. Now we're gonna go ahead and run some Python scripts to go ahead and populate that table with values. So to do that, guys, there is a neat way of doing this actually. We're first gonna create the SQL formula. And to do that, go ahead and follow me here. SQL or SQL formula is equal to, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the SQL command, except where the actual values are gonna be inputted, we're gonna put placeholders. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna say insert into, and then we're gonna specify our table name, which was students, and then go ahead and pass in the columns that we're passing this into, which is name comma age. And then after that, guys, go ahead and specify the values. And inside of the values, inside of the parentheses, we can go ahead and say percent %s, comma, percent %s. And the way this is gonna work, guys, is now these percent %s's work as placeholders. And these placeholders can be replaced with any value we want. So once we've created our SQL formula, we can run this SQL formula with any or any data we want, no matter what it is. So for example, let's go ahead and create a tuple of some data we could do. Let's say student one is equal to, and then I'll just say Rachel for now, Rachel comma, and then her age, let's say she's 22, okay? So student one is equal to Rachel comma 22. And then after that, we've created our SQL formula, we've created our student one, all we have to do now is execute our SQL formula with our student one. So all we have to say guys is my cursor is dot execute, sorry, and then pass in SQL formula, comma, the tuple that we're passing in, student one. So my cursor to execute SQL formula, comma, student one, this will go ahead and actually insert the data, Rachel, comma, 22, into our table. However, we can execute as many times as we want, that's not actually going to save our changes. The command that will save our changes and actually make them show up in our SQL workbench is going to be mydb.commit. And what the commit function actually does, guys, is it's required to make the changes, otherwise no change will be made to the table. So mydb.commit basically migrates, if you do Ruby, and makes sure that that change is seen in the database. All right, awesome. We can actually see our change take place by opening up our MySQL workbench. Go ahead and open up your MySQL workbench application. Open up your connection. Let me bring this over here open up your connection to your database. And over here we have test DB, test DB tables, students. And our next step is to actually write our very own SQL command to view the data. So we're gonna create an SQL query. We're gonna say select um, all of our entries from the table students, okay? So go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and run it. Actually, we don't have to save it. Just go ahead and hit that electricity button over there and run it. And over here, you see no database selected. If you do see this error, guys, what you're gonna go ahead and do is remove that, command X for now, and then just say use test DB. So we're basically specifying to MySQL Workbench that, hey, the database that we're using is test DB, test DB. Go ahead and run that using the sort of lightning thunderbolt sign over here. There we go, zero rows affected. And now go ahead and paste back that command, select star from students. Go ahead and run that now. There we go, it works, Rachel22. Fantastic job guys, we added our very first value to our database. Now let's say we had a bunch of values. We had an array of different values we wanted to add to our database. How could we do that using Python? That is very straightforward guys, let me show you how. So we're gonna go ahead and create a student's array and make this into an array of tuples. We're gonna say Rachel comma 22. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this sometimes. So one, two, three, four, five and I'm gonna change the values up. So Bob, uh, Amanda, uh, Jacob, uh, Avi, and Michelle, okay? Jacob, there we go. And I'll change up the ages just a bit. So we have 12, 32, 21, uh, 28, doesn't matter, and then 17, okay? So these are our five ages and our five names. And now we're gonna go ahead and execute these into our database. And the way we can execute multiple rows or multiple sets of values is by saying my cursor dot execute many. 
So Python has its own command for this. My cursor has its own command for this execute many. And what this will do guys is it'll take your entire list of data, all the different tuples you have and put them all into your database. So I'm going to replace student one with students. And now I'm going to go ahead and save that. And we have the mydb.commit over there. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and run this. So process finished with exit code zero. Fantastic. Whoops. Let me go ahead and quit that. We have our MySQL workbench. Let me go ahead and refresh our schema. So that's the refresh button right over there. And now if I go ahead and run this exact same command again, there we go. Bam. We have our six values and our six ages. All right, guys, fantastic job. That is exactly how you populate your database in MySQL using Python. Again, the function that you have to remember, guys, is mycursor.execute. Pass in your SQL formula, pass in your data. If you have one single item, use execute. If you have several items, put them in an array and use execute many. Don't forget to say mydb.commit to save those changes. Fantastic job, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.